Sir Topham Hatt then arrived. Good morning, James, he said, startling James. Sorry to wake you up, but I need your help. I've got a special delivery that I'd like you to make. Can you do it for me? But sir, my new wheels are in the repair shed. I can't go out on these. Yes, of course you can. Just be very careful, Sir Topham Hatt replied. OK, I'll do it, said James, and off he went. The delivery was a very special one. The bee carriage housed thousands of bees. The middle carriage was full of honey. And the back carriage carried two large ladybirds. As soon as James arrived, he reversed into the trucks and his driver coupled him up. And off he went. Unfortunately, his old wheels weren't suited to the new points, so he had a bit of a problem. It was a mess. Luckily, the ladybirds were alright, but honey fell out of the middle carriage. Guess who found it? The honey really made Winnie the Pooh's day. Unfortunately, a bee escaped from the bee truck and landed on James's nose. Ow! he said, as he got stung. Luckily, Chomper arrived and he helped lift the trucks back onto the track. He was done in no time. Thanks, Chomper, said James. No problem, Chomper replied, and James continued on his journey. When he finally finished his journey, the sting on his nose had gotten much worse. His nose was really swollen. So he dropped off the trucks and slowly went back to the sheds. What a rotten day off it had been. So he reversed into his shed. What's wrong with your nose? asked Thomas. I was stung by a bee, said James. Oh dear, said Percy. I just need a good night's sleep, said James. Thomas and Percy were feeling cheeky, and Thomas had an idea. When James fell asleep, they sprung into action. The next morning, James felt much better. Good morning, he said. Morning, James, said Thomas. James came out of his shed. Be careful out there, said Percy. I will, said James, and off he went. Thomas and Percy stayed in their sheds, chuckling. James didn't realise anything was different. He passed Gordon. Hi, Gordon. Uh, hello, said Gordon. Was that James, he wondered. James then passed Spencer. Hello, Spencer. Hi, James. I thought James was always red, he wondered. People are acting awfully strangely, thought James. Then finally, he bumped into Thomas. Hi Thomas, why are people acting so strangely, he asked. Oh, I'm sorry James. After what happened yesterday, Percy and I painted you yellow and black, just like a bee. Luckily, James saw the funny side, but he was proud of his red coat of paint, so he rushed over to the engine wash. Ah, oh, that's better, said James. 
and he rushed off to work, shiny and red as per usual. Hi, I'm Dave, and thank you for watching my story. Here's another you may have missed.